Hey everybody, this is Dave from Dave's Wild Adventure. Um, um, my, this is my first video log here. I'm going to take a little trip up to Pine Flat and just see how this works out with this new mic and boom and all. And uh, hopefully you can hear me as windy as it is out. It's gusting about 40 miles an hour seems like. Maybe it's only about 10 to 15, but blowing the bike around pretty good. On a little bit of a twisty road here. Not now, looks pretty straight, but you'll see. up here on the right hand side is going to be the Kings River. That's a canal right there but the Kings River will be coming up here pretty shortly. There's a lot of horse ranches out right through this area right here. Equestrian style horses and all. And a lot of orange grows and a lot of bees. I've been killing bees like crazy. I don't know if you can see my windshield. But I had to stop and clean the camera off before I started even. The bee hit my mask, my shield here, and splattered off and covered the camera lens. I don't know if you heard that, but my uh, voice activated. I think it turned on the FM radio to the local Spanish station. Really nice day out today. It's, it's about 85 degrees out. Pine Flat Lake is up here in the foothills, just a little ways up. But I just thought I'd try this out and nice little twisties and right next to the river, kind of scenic on the way up there. So I figured it might make for some little bit of good video. Taxi way out here, boy, I'd hate to have that bill. Gotta be a hundred dollar bill from the airport. Thirteen miles up to the lake from here. Sick. There's a little bit of the river, just an offshoot. There you go, you can kind of see the river kind of elevated here. Man, somebody lost a board right there in the middle of the road. I have to remember that on my way back so I don't hit that thing. It's kind of dangerous. all these orange trees are right up against the foothills it's like the perfect temperature and weather for growing orange trees for some reason it could be some of the soils and all right up against the foothills but they every every time you see orange trees usually they're right in around this area they're up against the foothills right here now we're right up against the river and uh, you can see that on the other side, you can't see it right now, probably yet, but there's a park on the other side. You can go over there. There's people out in the river fishing for trout right now. I don't know if you can see that river right there. It's really, really nice. This is a King's River right here. And this is what's coming out of, we're going up to Pine Flat Dam, Pine Flat Lake, but that's where all this uh, is coming from. OK. 
okay roads clear car turn Thirteen miles up to the lake from here. I'm heading up to the, uh, I got my GPS on my phone here set up to go to the marina. It's uh, kind of a very steep launch, one of the steeper launches when it's no water like this year. We've got drought conditions. It's really bad probably. Uh, I haven't been up here in a while so we'll see how bad it is. Might be just a little bit of water in here. We've had a little bit of rain earlier about three four days and that was about it not enough to do anything so we're gonna be in pretty bad shape this year right now we got a little little bit of green going on with the uh, grass here because it's just a little bit coming out of we're spring still give it another month they're probably all brown and dead just ripe for fire season Yeah, stay on your side there, buddy. Here comes the he's motor bicyclist there. He's gaining speed since he had to bike all the way up it. Nice twist he's coming up here. That's why I was wanting to check this out. I hadn't done this in a while. Probably since last summer actually we we're up here looking at fishing and all. this uh, today I went ahead and I uh, might hear that beeping going on every another guy crossing the line probably people keep hearing people talking here now I got FM going so now it's changing stations on me here it's ridiculous here I got a, <laughs> a Bluetooth uh, phone device and it has an FM station on it and voice activate and so it keeps picking my voice up when I stop talking for a minute and it thinks it's a command to start playing the FM station here so you start hearing that music in the background maybe I don't know it's in my ears pretty loud I got it mainly so I could get phone there it goes again beeping so I gotta figure out how to turn this silly thing off so it doesn't get the FM and only does and no voice command there you go, you can see the lake. We're coming down at it here. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that's pretty cool. You kind of just drop down into the lake here pretty quick. Real twisty road right down. And you'll see when we get, as soon as we pull up to the ramp, it just drops off straight down in to the lake here. Which I don't know if this camera does it justice to show you how steep we're going down. I guess you could imagine towing your boat down into here. Big boat, it's kind of a challenge coming down this road and then turn around and backing it up to drive down. You'll see right here, this is coming right up to the, uh, this is the boat launch for the lake, Pine Flat. I'll slow down here. 
there's this bump they got running across this thing. There you go. Oh, there's the marina, and I don't know if you can see how steep this is. It's at about a 45 degree angle, mainly for when the water's up this high, if you can believe it or not. And you can see how far down the water is right now. It's way the heck down there. I'm gonna lift my hood up here. And uh, it's hard to believe how low this lake is. You can see the line all the way around the lake to where it normally is and where it is right now just crazy. I'm going to go down this road over here. It's normally not this low and it's been almost two years in a row this low. A lot of houseboats out there still though. A lot of houseboats. I'm not even sure how they get those boats down in the water right now. They got to go down clear on the dirt. They had to have had some of them in already, I would imagine. Just never took them out. This is crazy how far down this is. Yeah, here's people right now lining up to get their boats out. This is what we used to call the Saturday night show and Sunday night show, watching drunk people get their boats out and try to get their boats out sometimes. <laughs> and try to dunk their trucks under the water too at the same time. Pretty hilarious. I'm going to pull over here, I think, on this plateau over here. This looks like a kind of a cool spot. I guess I didn't tell you guys, but I'm riding a 2013 Suzuki V-Strom 650, the DL uh, with the ABS brakes um, on them. Um, just picked it up about, I don't know, a few months ago, a couple months ago, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, kind of a adventure bike, tour bike, uh, on-road, off-road, a little bit off-road really, not strict, um, but it seems to be doing the job just fine. Pretty cool bike. I posted a lot of pictures, I have an Instagram, and uh, posted a lot of pictures on that under uh, uh, Dave's Wild Adventures, and also I'm posting these videos to Dave's Wild Adventures, all one word. If you want to see any videos that I got out and or uh, Instagram pictures, it's open. You guys can check them out. All right, I'm going to hang it up here for a second and uh, check out my phone situation here, see if I can't figure out why this thing keeps coming on voice and uh, see what I can do about that. Nice view, huh, before we sh close off. I got some geese in front of me here. I'm still pine flat here. They're running out of the way. I didn't know what they would do here. Nope, they're flying now. Taking off. Trying to stay ahead of me here. Everybody coming in for the night. Got down here closer to the lake. Got a cable here. I'm going to go up and around, I think. 
a little bit flatter up there. Here's a Saturday night show, everybody trying to come out of the water here right now. Ooh. You want to stay and watch, but at the same time, you don't want to get in the middle of that. <laughs> Coming up out of the ramp here. This is ramp material here that we're coming up on. It's pretty rough just so that they can get some grip and they're trying to get their boats out. Pull off the side here so I can take another look at the lake before I take off here. Pretty cool at sunset, I guess, huh? Pretty nice.